What's up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so I just wanted to pop on here to introduce this video. So this is video two in the six part series where we are going to be counting down different Berkeley students with different majors before the college admissions decisions are released in a week. So you can see what different kinds of students day in the lives are and then maybe come to UC Berkeley. So let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Swetha. I'm a third year here at Berkeley and I'm studying computer science and dance and performance studies. And this is a day in the life of a Berkeley student. What are we up to right now? We are dancing. We're learning Bhangra for the TDPS production. And how early are we in the studio? 7.30. But I woke up at 7. <laughs> it's early mornings here. <laughs> so just finished practicing with one of my friends for the dance show. Um, I'm choreographing as part of the major production that the theater department is doing this semester. And we start rehearsals with all the dancers and the actors next week. So we just wanted to take some time and make sure that all the little pieces were worked out and everything fit together the way it needed to before we brought 14 people together to work on it and get a show ready in the next two months. Uh, it's not quite 8.30 right now, so gotta go home, get cleaned up, and then get off to my first class for the theater department. Okay, so heading off to my first class of the day right now. Um, it's a theater upper division class that's called the Performance Research Workshop, and it's a requirement for most of the theater and dance majors here on campus. It's basically where we get to like read a bunch of papers and then make devised theater that has to do with the subject of the class. This semester it's called the Black Theater Workshop, so we're focusing on stories about Black California, and I think it's just really cool being from out of state. I get to learn a lot about the history of California and just get to hear about other people's experiences who grew up in the state here, and it's just kind of a neat experience. It's also kind of cool as this class is held in Zellerbach Hall, which, okay, I'm just gonna walk backwards so you can see it but it's the big performing arts center here on campus and the class is held in the basement. So sometimes when there's like performing arts companies here for their shows on the weekends, they'll be here earlier in the week to start like setting up and rehearsing and we'll get to run into them and see what's going on behind the scenes of some of the best performing arts companies in the world. What else is cool about this class? It's three hours long, it's really long, meets twice a week. I've never had a class be three hours in a single sitting before ever here in college. So. That's definitely a new experience and it's really cool, but also definitely a really tiring class to do, especially first thing in the morning. This is Rachel popping on for Swetha to do a voiceover because there was no talking during this clip. But it looks like Swetha is going in the basement of Zellerbach, going to go to her class. I thought this was cool because the basement I've never been in, but it looks like a straight up dungeon down here. Like very, very sketch. Okay, so we're done with the first class of the day. And that is also my longest class like ever. So it always feels like a big sigh of relief when we're done. It really makes me feel like a lot of the day has gone by even though it's only been a couple hours. Just off to the library right now to go pick up some materials that I need for our next class meeting. And what's nice about the theater department is it really like gets you out, off your computer and out of your chair and you know, we're moving around in class. They're sending us into libraries to go do physical research versus the computer science classes. I feel like I'm kind of always just like in one spot and you know you're coding or you're working on a problem set it's pretty much something you can always do from your room so it's nice to be able to get out on the campus a little bit and be reminded of all the different resources we have here okay, i feel like it's just so dark within that library which would make sense given that most of it is underground but we've got sunlight and look there's the campanile uh honestly this is just one of my favorite spots to kind of just walk through campus on. It's just nice to be out in the sun and be able to see all the way to the city and there's my really shaking hands trying to see if I can see the bridge. Yeah, midday sprout. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of clubs. It's kind of cool, I guess. It's always kind of fun to see what kinds of clubs and things people are always promoting. We're kind of 
out of the main part of club recruitment now. Ooh, I wonder where that music is coming from. Sometimes clubs are selling food. Taco Tuesday, I guess. There's a lot of people here. I guess there's a bit of a line today to get into the dining hall. Um, probably a lot of other people had the same idea to grab lunch before their afternoon classes. Honestly, I'd say this isn't pretty bad. Sometimes I've definitely seen it stretch all the way around the block. Managed to make it through the lunch crowd and now I'm just kind of hustling to get to campus because I have office hours for my natural language processing class, or NLP for short. Uh, it's a class that I'm taking this semester for my CS degree. And what's really cool about it is it's actually taught by the information school here, which doesn't offer any undergrad majors, but it's more of a professional school. So there's like masters and I think there's a PhD program, I'm not actually sure. But it's really cool to be able to take a class that's got undergrads and grad students in it. And we're all kind of just chugging along working together on our assignments. We've got a midterm coming up, so this specific session of office hours isn't just going to be like questions and answers with the TAs the way it normally is. Ah, wind. Is this, why is this happening to me? <laughs> oh, go Bears, this is fine. So this particular session of office hours is more of a review session where the TAs are gonna answer all the questions that everyone's been asking to prepare for our exam. But usually our office hours are kind of just like a Q&A. So everyone comes in with whatever questions they have and they kind of just rotate through the room and ask them and let you ask them and help you work through those questions in small groups. Since often, especially if it's with like a homework assignment, a lot of people have the same question and they're all stuck on the same thing. If you're watching this and you're going to college soon, please go to office hours push. Like seriously, the best thing that I've done since starting at school was to actually go to them, even though everyone says it until they're blue in the face. Like no one actually goes for whatever reason. And then you start going and you're like, oh my God, I see a whole new world here. I just left office hours. Um, I decided to leave a little bit earlier than normal so I could go get a good seat at lecture. Usually with the CS classes, especially the bigger ones here at Berkeley, they're all webcasted. So basically the professor records the lecture as they're doing it and it gets put up on YouTube so you can just watch the lecture whenever you want. I try to go to live lecture when I can just because I think it's easier to stay on track with the class, but definitely when it gets closer to exam season, it's nice to have the videos to go back to. Yeah, this lecture is an hour and a half. So usually the CS classes, they're either an hour and they meet three times a week or they're an hour and a half and they meet twice a week. But yeah, time to just go do more. NLP CS things, I guess. I'm not really sure what else to say here. <laughs> the lecture was pretty cool, and now that we're done with that, I'm gonna go home, get changed up before dance rehearsal, and then get going with everything that is happening this afternoon. What are we up to right now? Let's dance. So we should probably go practice right now because we are working on a show together in April, choreographing a dance for a show that the department is directing. Where are we going? I'm going the wrong way. Yes. I can't talk and walk at the same time. We're going up the wrong ramp. Too much break. <laughs> it really is. Right? Yes. So we are preparing for the start of rehearsals next week. And Sawhill is one of the dancers in the show. And we're just going to get ready together to make sure we're got all the pieces good to go. How's the uh, choreo looking? Choreo looks nice, just not when I do it. Well, we'll get there with practice. You know, I'd hoped that this vlogging thing was gonna get a little bit less awkward the longer I did it. Rachel, I don't know how you do this day in and day out. I just feel really, really strange doing it. So right now I'm just walking through campus. I am going to go see the performance of Berkeley Dance Project tonight, which is the department show for TDPS when all the dance majors do their show. Um, pretty much anyone can participate through campus. You don't just have to be part of the dance program, but pretty much everyone who is in the show is, or they're part of a student dance group of some kind. Um, and just like all the theater majors have their show, dance majors have theirs. The department does their show in this little building called the Zellerbach Playhouse. It's actually not that little. It's just compared to the main Zellerbach Hall, it's smaller in comparison. It's like the little sibling. And this is pretty much where all of the theater and dance department productions happen on campus. It's like our space, quote unquote, but sometimes the Cal performance shows will also happen here if it's like a smaller, more intimate 
type of a setting. It's pretty early, so seats aren't filled yet, but... Yay! Yay for dance friend! <laughs> Okay, cool. Just some final thoughts before I disappear off into the ether of the internet. There's really no such thing as a typical day here at Berkeley. When Rachel first asked me to pick like a day in my life and go through it, I had to really sit down and think because I realized that no two days ever really look the same for me. And yeah, there's some common threads across all of them, but even if I have a routine, it's not really like a routine in the typical sense that you may kind of have right now as a high schooler or you know if you're out like working a day job or something like that like college really is a time when it feels like no two days are the same no two weeks are the same and that's definitely really exciting because that means you're always trying new things and you never really get bored but it also definitely gets very tiring after a while but I think that experience has just opened me up so much to so many different things like I've done things in college that I knew I wanted to do when I was picking schools in high school and I've done things that I would have never imagined myself ever doing or trying once I started school and my college experience here at Berkeley has been everything I would have imagined it being and then some. This is really just such a big school with so much going on and so many opportunities and just so many exciting things to try out and experiment with and I think one thing that's a really cool way for me to visualize that is I keep this giant board right by my bed um, and it's pretty much all just pictures of things that I've done since starting college just memories of trips taken and you know experiments and f things that I tried with friends and just random moments of hanging out with people and it's all just memories that I know I'm gonna keep with me forever. It's really like emotionally sentimental and cheesy and kind of makes me gag a little bit with how like touchy-feely that phrase was. But it's true in that all of these moments on this board are things that I would have never imagined happening when I was first picking a college. And I'm just really grateful that now I get to point to all these experiences as look at all the great things I got to do when I was a college student, even if they weren't necessarily part of like the plan of what I thought I was going to do when I came to Cal. So it'll be really exciting to see what all of you have planned for when you start college and what you actually end up doing once you get here. So good luck and thanks for watching.